Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. All right, it is time for this week's Steam Series, and our focus today is engineering. CBS 2's meteorologist Amber Lee is introducing us to a tugboat captain. Mm. All right, so this is fascinating. He makes his living rescuing ships stranded at sea just off the coast of L.A. at one of the busiest ports in the world. Check it out. On a sunny afternoon in the port of Los Angeles, freight manufactured continents away is lifted up from foreign ships, then dropped onto 18 wheel trucks headed for the 710 freeway. With drone two hovering high overhead, tugboats on patrol are ready for duty. Among industry insiders, they're simply called tugs. Tugs are the workhorses on the water. Meet Josiah Layfield, a tugboat captain for Centerline Logistics. Tugboats are basically three things, an engine, fuel tanks, and a towing winch. And that's the most important three things on the tug. In busy harbors like the Port of Los Angeles, tugboats can pull or push too. Assist the ships into getting into port. That's on a calm day. On a more chaotic one. If a ship breaks down at sea, it's the tugboats that go out and bring them back in. The ship rescues are the most exciting. The ship breaks down at sea, if it's not a dire emergency, then what they do is they go out to different tugboat companies and get estimates and get bids to go out and do the rescue. And then when we get those, we'll go out, say, a thousand miles to sea and connect up to a ship and tow it all the way back into port. Of all the steam disciplines, tugboat captains rely most on engineering. The hydrodynamics of operating a boat and safely landing and, and departing with, with these large barges, a lot of engineering goes into that. The equipment that we use. Compared to the mass of ships they tow, tugboats look like trinkets, but don't underestimate their power. Three floors down from the captain's deck. This is the engine room. Almost all of a tugboat's weight comes from the fuel it carries and the engine in its room. 2,600 horsepower total for this tug. Base, Madeline. Josiah got his start in the U.S. military. My dad talked me into joining the Coast Guard out of high school. I was getting in a lot of trouble and he thought boot camp would be good for me. And I did search and rescue in Alaska for my whole four years. It was fun in my 20s. I don't know if I want to do it now. Once out of the Coast Guard. Went to the Gulf of Mexico and built sea time up to where I could be operating tugs. How much fuel do we have on board? I think there's 18,000. Okay. To be a captain, it, you generally need to be fairly type A personality and be able to be direct and bark out orders a lot of times. You also have to be willing to live on board 24 seven for days at a time. His advice to aspiring seafarers to learn the ropes, consider the Coast Guard or the U.S. Job Corps Seaman Academy. Two years, once you come out of there, you have an able-bodied seaman credential and from there you can slowly build up a license. For Josiah, despite the dangers, there's no better job. I love being out on the water. The view's great. The sunrises are beautiful. 